Welcome back guys! Today we are going to focus on this charge controller for solar panels here. It's cheap and it kind of works. But I have one disadvantage of this one so far and that's the contacts here. So let's do something about it. So basically the charge controller we have here have these screw contacts here and I would say that they are kind of crappy. I mean they work but when you are going to put in like solar panel cables like this one that is 6 um, square millimeter it doesn't work that well. I mean you could use uh, thinner ones as well but I, I have this kind of cable almost everywhere and want to be able to use it. What I'm going to do here is switch those and add XD60 contacts like this one instead. They are said to be able to cope with roughly 60 amp and that should be more than enough for this charge controller. And the other end you have this contact here. So basically what I want to do is add them inside here and make them permanent. So let's start. Maybe that you have to split those apart a little bit because they are a little bit sticky. Um, the thing is they have put some glue here. And I do this because it's a little bit easier to get or reach the display cables over there. Uh, in this case I am going to remove them because it makes it a little bit easier for me to show you guys how I'm going to do this. it like that. So what we basically have here is that it, it's soldered on those two points. So we will start by removing that. And I also notice one another thing and what I do here is that I remove as much solder as I can. I generally put something in between to pry it away while I heat this last piece up a little bit because there are always a little bit solder going through the hole. Uh, but basically that was nothing. Next phase is to actually get those parts in here. First of all we need to make sure that they do fit here and as you can see they kind of go in but I will take a file we need to file on that one there. You don't need much at all and that should do it. Yeah it works fine. So what's important here is that you get this enough out so it actually sticks out here. You, you do want it to be something like that. So let's attach them here and I need something to hold it. The thing here is that contact is in the air, so you need to add something between the XT60 and the board. So let's thin up a cable for it as well. And it's important here to make sure that you don't get any cold joints. So that one is done. I will now 
go and add to the other one as well and when that's done I can go back two times more to just make sure I have a solid joint that isn't cold I can also add some more uh, tin to it to make sure that it sits where it should That's basically it. Okay. Magically, it still fits, and that's good. And magically, we have a hole in this one as well. That should do it. So let's mount this together again and see how it fits. We start by attaching the screen again, and we go back and attach the fan as well. Then we add this to the enclosure itself Final moment Does it fit? Yes it fits because I have filed it down a little bit more So let's attach the last screws So that's basically it. And now you can put it in like that and you have it connected. It makes this small MPPT charge controller a lot more versatile and you can bring it with you without having to have screws or anything to tighten this. So let's try this out and make sure that it do work in real life. And time for the final test. I have the solar here and I have the battery here. So let's hook them up. Let's start with the battery. And you can see the spark down there. That's fine. Because I have no contact in between. And we take the solar. And it starts up. So let's power it on. Make sure it works. And I would say that is a rather successful uh, modification to this uh, MPPT charge controller because it makes it a lot more versatile and hopefully you like this video and give me a big thumbs up if so if you don't like it yeah give me a thumbs down if you have any comments or suggestions um, let me know down below and I see you next time thank you and bye